Welcome to Knife Thoughts. This video is going to be on these knives, and as you can see, these are the Great Eastern Cutlery Titty Ute number 15, full pattern number 153124, Barlow's in tractor green saw cut bone. And so these are two knives. I ended up getting two of them. Um, two knives that are, you know, right up my alley because I love Barlow's. Um, I started the Barlow Bearcat Club and Barlow's are, are really what got me into gradation cutlery. And I also love saw cut bone. Um, a good example of that here is my saw cut bone Barlow from Sean Yaw. I'll show you a comparison, a little bit better comparison later. Uh, but that's almost a green. It's more of a teal. Um, so I was excited that they, were, that they were doing a green saw cut bone. The only other GEC knife that I think I have in green is the one of the original run of the Urban Jack. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. First of all, I do like this tube art. You can see it has the tractor on the front there. Um, you've got the, the sticker, no BS Barlow on the bottom. They've been doing that for a while now. And uh, it's kind of a kind of one of those quirky things that GEC does. And then inside here, you have your desiccant packet. And then a good as gold button. And uh, so... Good as Gold is one of the kind of trademarks, I don't know, it is a trademark actually, it looks like, of Titty Ute Cutlery. Um, so for a while I thought that it was only used with the Glitter Gold knives, but it is just for Titty Ute Cutlery and they've used it on some Barlows recently. So you can see 2024 Sheepfoot Barlow. Another interesting thing I re learned recently is that they make these buttons there. Um, so it's actually like a piece of paper uh, that is in, you know, a circular shape and they shrink wrap kind of this my mylar around it. Um, I assumed honestly that they were made by someone like I have used sticker mule to make that same type of button. Um, so it's kind of cool to know that they make them there at GEC. And here is the knife. And speaking of which, I actually got these at GEC. Um, I got one for myself and then someone asked me if I could pick one up uh, for them. And, you know, I, I'm happy to do that if, you know, if it's something that works out. And I was actually there um, for something really exciting for the Barlow Bearcat Club. So let's go ahead and open this other one. Now, I've opened and looked at these. This is not an unboxing, um, but I haven't used them. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to use uh, the one that I'm keeping, to be completely honest, because I have lots of other <laughs> user GEC knives. Um, but there is the second one. So this is the first one I got. This is the second one I got. Um, and speaking of getting them at the factory, I went to the factory twice recently uh, to talk with them about the Barlow Bearcat Club. And um, <clears throat> it... Uh, is always a great experience. Uh, I was able to get these, um, but also, you know, have really good conversations about um, something for the Barlow Bearcat Club. And it's nice to be able to check them out in person. Uh, so this first one is a little bit lighter bone. Um, but to me, I really like this light green. Uh, I, you know, like lighter colors. This one is a little bit closer to my Sean Yaw Barlow. Of course, not, not close. It's the Sean Yaw is a little bit more of a blue, like I said, but um, a lighter green on this one. Now, uh, really well made. Um, there is a little bit of a line on the spring here. Um, and I don't think that that's a, a real issue. I think it's just kind of a line from, I don't know, the polishing process or something. And then there is... I can't figure out if it's a crack or not, but it looks like it might be a crack in the bone right there. Um, so, you know, that's not great. It doesn't look like it's really the whole way through, more of maybe like a, a fissure, you, you might say, something like that. Um, so not perfect, but I like the action on these. It's relatively light. It's maybe like a four or four and a half, but it's nice and snappy. And they sit well within the frame, 
no prod tips, which there really shouldn't be on a sheet foot like this. Um, they should be able to sit pretty, pretty well within the frame. It's well centered and no gaps on the back spring here that I can see, or really between the bolsters and the covers, which is something that I have seen a little bit more uh, frequently recently on GEC knives. So I was happy to see that. Uh, and then I picked up this second one and you can see it is darker. Um, I think that this is the color that most people are preferring, a little bit darker inside those saw cuts. Um, speaking of which, Randy said that this was the first that used a new saw cut process. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion about that on the Barlow Bearcat Club, and I'm not 100% sure you know, exactly what he was referring to because I think we kind of figured out one of their processes just from looking at pictures, but I'm not as convinced on this one. So I don't know if they changed the process for this one specifically, but I want to kind of try to nail it down before I, you know, put my thoughts out there on it. Um, so yeah, uh, Randy said that this was the first, Randy is the engineer at GC and said that this was the first that used this new process. Um, so that was interesting, but I do think that it is a um, nice uniform saw cut and uh, looks really good, very classic. And I do like the darker, you know, darker shade in there. You get some light up where it was hafted and all that. Um, speaking of which, this one has no cracks that I have noticed. Um, it has nice fitment between the bolsters and the covers. Nice fitment on the back spring and no line on the back spring. Um, so this one's, you know, maybe a little bit a little bit nicer, but a slightly lighter pull. I would call it more like a four than a four and a half. Still snappy and probably would even get a little snappier if I had uh, oiled it, which I didn't put some oil in there and flush out the uh, pivots. Um, the tang here, as you can see on these is a little different looking than I've seen before on GC knives. Now this one is a really you know, it's a 10 year old GEC, um, so it's very patinaed and stuff, but I don't know, it just seems to me like the finish is slightly different. They might be paying a little bit more attention to that tang area. Uh, not sure, but just something I noticed there. Um, this one is also well centered and sits well within the frame. You know, I hate proud tips and I hate blade wrap, and that's one of the big benefits of a sheet foot is you should be able to have no blade wrap and no proud tip. Um, so I think that these are super cool. Um, I'm happy to have gotten them. Uh, honestly, I, I think I, I like this one better, but I'll probably um, send that one to the person that wanted me to pick one up for them. And um, I, I'm happy to see this particular knife, this single sheep foot Barlow, TC Barlow, because this one, again, was my first GC. So this is a Charlie Campania SFO. TC Barlow uh, from 2013, as you can see. So there's over 10 years between these, this knife and these two. Um, and you can see that I've sharpened and used this, used and sharpened, I guess I should say, this knife a lot. Um, and I've actually dyed the bone. This was originally smooth ivory bone. Um, so there's some gaps from that and from use and everything, uh, but it works perfectly. Maybe like a five pull, nice and snappy. No issues there. I've dropped the kick, but it still sits well within the frame. It's well centered. And so, you know, it's a good example that these knives, you know, if you do choose to carry and use them, which you certainly can, it's just that I have other knives to, to carry and use. If you do choose to carry and use them, they can really last you and really work well. I think a sheep foot, single blade sheep foot Barlow is one of the most classic um, and useful for our daily lives, opening packages and things like that, knives that you can, that you can get really. Um, so these are great. Now these are really difficult to get. Um, I got these at the factory because I was there, but also because I have been having lots of trouble recently with drops. Um, uh, buying the knives on drops. It is not easy. Um, I have been missing them a lot and I also just haven't been paying attention quite as much as I, I might have before uh, because of the Barlow Bearcat Club doing stuff with it. Um, but I'll show you a couple quick comparisons real quick. These are difficult to get uh, 
on drops. I think that they have mostly dropped at this point, but definitely keep an eye out if you want to get one. And honestly, I think the best way to get these at this point is on the secondary market in the right places. Um, eBay, not the right place. Slip Joint Exchange, probably not the right place in my opinion. Um, those places, people often sell them really high, which, you know, do what you want to do. But uh, I think that if you are in Great Eastern Cutlery Club on Facebook or Knife Swap on Reddit or the Barlow Bearcat Club, especially, I mean, honestly, that easily is the best option for Barlow specifically. Um, I think that those are the best places. You can usually get them at pretty reasonable prices on the secondary market, you know, without having to pay those eBay or slip joint exchange prices. Um, and that way you don't have to stress about the drops and everything. Um, hopefully going to do an updated video on how to buy GEC knives because it's it's even harder than when I made that video. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I love these Barlow knives and I hope you're able to get one if you would like to get one. These cost me about $134, $135, something like that. But they have ranged in price greatly between the dealers. So um, if I was to buy one on the secondary, I, I would think that $150 would be like an extremely friendly price. Um, because, depending on where the person got it. I think that Blade HQ and, and Knife Ship Free were like $110 or something. Um, but, you know, honestly... $200 is not crazy, but if you start getting above $200, I think that that's where, you know, you can probably wait and find one for a little bit less. But I'm really not an expert on the secondary market prices. I try to stay away from it, to be completely honest. Um, I try to not, you know, fall for the FOMO and, um, you know, get things at, at high prices and, and pay attention to the secondary too much. But um, I think that those are the best places to find them for good prices if you're interested. Great Eastern Cutlery Club on Facebook, Knife Swap on Reddit, and the Barlow Bearcat Club. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these and, and in general on GEC and Barlow's. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell and select all so you know when I post new videos. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.